So let's get this out of the way. And we'll jump over to the cedar. Where's the cedar? There we go. Now I want to start this guy off as a worker from the beginning so that we don't have so many problems. Uh, at this point, I've not filled the cedar, so <laughs> let's go do that. To fill your cedar, you need to take it over here to the seed box, like I said a little bit ago. I came all the way over here, but I ran past it so fast trying to show you the other places and tell you what they were that I forgot to fill it. Now, if you're going to use a worker, you don't have to put very much in here. That's what's cool about it. So. I selected my seed. There, I got close enough. Now I can refill it. I will refill it all the way. Well, we'll put it at about 48%. There we go. All right, let's tear butt back over to the, the field. And then uh, we'll start the worker to seeding, and then I'll uh, get ready and buy a sprayer and show you where to get that. And we'll move on from there. Now, when you're hiring a worker, you want to line the vehicle up about as good as you can. Try and leave a little bit of overlap, that way he'll uh, definitely get the whole field. And then you just hit your hire worker button. He'll tend to pull off to the left to get just as much of the field as he can, but see how I left that little bit overlap? It's all good. All right, so let's get this guy over here. We're just dumping stuff off because I, I just don't really care right now. I'm just showing you guys. Um, we need a sprayer. So let's go to the shop menu. There we go. All right, in the shop menu, you'll see that it's got multiple attachment or multiple menus up here. This one lets you sort by different types of things, animals, brands, the only way to get two animals and placeable objects. Um, this one is the different implements. So we want a sprayer. So, uh, there we go. So the cheapest sprayer is 28,900. As you can see, I've only got 14,500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out and actually go back to owned stuff. It's just one of these. There we go. And I'm going to sell off these blue tractors just for this purpose. I don't, I don't advise you to do it because they're set up at different places to, as, to give you easy access to get to somewhere. But, you know, starting the game, they're really crappy tractors. You'll hardly use any of them. So I usually just keep one and then sell the others. Let's go back to sprayers. There we go. Let's buy this bad boy. Um, these are just bigger. And uh, as you see, the fuel capacity is bigger. This only holds 1920. This one holds 5600. More expensive. Bigger, better, usually. But uh, I've got the higher end cultivators, or, I mean, uh, combines and stuff, and I still use this sprayer. This sprayer will two shot, two and like a, leave about five feet your uh, initial fields. So let's buy it. I'm gonna show you another quick cheat. If you hit escape and you go to your vehicle selection where you can see all your vehicles and stuff, when you buy something, if you just go to reset vehicle and then click on what you bought, guess what? Try right back here at the farm. Look at it, it just fell right in front of me. So let's uh, attach it. No, I'm not trying to attach it to the back side. I'm trying to go around it in case somebody wanted to ask. <laughs> so uh, let's get her hooked up. If we can figure out how to line it up. All right, there we go. Right there. All right, so first thing you got to do is fill it up. Use this blue tank. As we said earlier, it refills your sprayer. Refill it. Almost done. 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90. All right. For these initial starter fields, you can probably get three or so fields if you join them together. You could probably spray them about three times or so before you have to refill. Now, as you just saw, that cost me about five or six hundred dollars to uh, to fill it. So you're spending five or six hundred dollars, but the yield increase is almost double. I mean, it's right at it. So it's a it's a pretty pretty big deal. Now uh, this guy's still seeding, so I'm going to pause this and let him finish, and then we'll be right back. All right, we're back with a fully seeded field, and I've pulled the sprayer up here. So let's back out a little bit, and it's time to show you this bad boy. Unload or un unfold. Watch this. Nah. That's not it. 
Oh yeah. This is why I like the sprayer. Oh, and more. Oh, and one more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Spraying is cake. Especially if you just uh, cultivated and seeded this all by yourself. This is how easy it is to spray. Speed level two with a sprayer, by the way. But you now spray your field. Also notice that your field gets darker. I'll come back and fix that there. I turned it off just a hair too early. I like to try and save some of the juice because I'm already going to make a run over there on the right that's going to waste a lot. Not hitting something there is an accomplishment. But as you can see, it darkens up anything that you've, uh, anything that it hits that's ready to go. So that's a good indicator to let you know what area you have and have not sprayed and have and have not seeded. As you can see, the very edge right there, he apparently missed. But there we go. Now you fold it back up, and then you park it, and uh, then you get to watch your field grow. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. All right, time scale. The keys 7 and 8 on your keyboard control how fast the game progresses. Now it does not affect vehicle movement speed, anything other than time. And the only effect that it has is on plant growth, from what I've noticed so far, at least. So I can hit the 8 key, and if you look up at the top right by the clock and the sun, you'll see that it goes to 5x. I am now moving at 5x real time. So now 15x, 30x, 60x, and 120x. It is very, very, you know, detrimental that you keep your eye on that because if you're running at 120x accidentally while seeding, your seeds, your plants will not all pop up at the same time. As you noticed, it takes, you know, about five, sometimes 10, maybe even 15 minutes or more to seed one of these fields, especially when you get into the bigger fields like back here behind us. Uh, especially if you're doing it by yourself and you've still got that crappy little first level seeder, you know, early, early stuff. You could take, you could spend 30 minutes, you know, seeding that field. Well, if you're running at 120 time scale, that means that that time is being spread up, you know, from a 30 minutes to hours in game time over, you know, two hours per, per real minute. Uh, so it's not advisable to seed that on. Make sure it's turned off. Uh, after you've seeded, after you've sprayed, after everything's done, I mean, everything involving the growth of your crops, then turn the scale up and you can sit back and you can watch and uh, I'm hoping that it will you know pop up the first one here pretty soon but it doesn't look like it's going to because it takes a few hours game hours you know, and I don't want to make you sit here and watch so I'm gonna pause the video again and I'll pop it up at the first level of growth and then success consecutively each time to uh, show you what everything looks like now we planted wheat here so that's what you'll be seeing here you can see the first level of growth coming in at about uh, five or so, maybe six hours after we started the 120X. Uh, so yeah, it, it takes a little while. Pause it again and uh, get ready to turn my lights on because it's fitting to get dark. Uh, something else also that I wanted to show you. If you hit the escape key, you can go to your map view up here and you can see that I have grown this field and that it is in phase one of growing. Actually, that looks close to phase two. So now it's in phase two of growing. Uh, this shows you all your fields and it does that for any field that you've got anything grown on. It'll show you what phase you're in. So when you're in these phases, you just watch it. When you get into these phases, it's time to harvest it. If you're doing potatoes or beets, it'll turn green like this when they're ready to be topped. Uh, and then it'll swap over to this scaling system. Uh, and if you let it sit too long, your stuff withers. 
another thing you can check here is the fruit types. If you click down here, it'll show me that I've got yellow, which is wheat. Um, so that lets you know what's growing in every field. So if you need to hurry up and get to your potatoes, you can look. You can see what field you've got potatoes growing in because there's a high demand. Hopefully it's ready. You can go pick them up, harvest them. Don't try and do it quick. Potatoes take forever. But anyhow, let's get back to this. Here comes the next level. Notice how it just kind of randomly goes all over the place. That's one part of why you have to be careful about how you seed and making sure that this time scale is off. Because if it's on, you can have sections here that are grown and sections over there that are not grown, and it can just really mess it all up. And if you look here, you'll see it has progressed to the orange stage, which is level three. Here we go, coming up with the very final stage of growing. One more stage to go and we're ready to harvest. If you look on the map, it'll be that really dark red, almost orange, or orange rather, almost reddish color. And here we go, our first level of harvestable material. Uh, as you notice the time-wise, it's taken just about a full day game time. So now you want to cut your time scale back down to zero. Uh, always do this because if you've got five fields, two fields, one field, it gives you ample time to harvest everything. Um, I'm going to let this crop wither because we've already seen, you know, what it's like. I showed in the first video how to harvest a field. If you hit the escape button, though, you'll notice that field 16's turned green, which is the light green, which is the first level of ready to harvest. doesn't matter which level you harvest it on, so long as you harvest it on one of them three levels of green uh, before it hits the final one and then changes over to wither. Once a crop withers, you cannot pick it up. It's gone. You just have to cultivate it over and start over. Um, so don't lose your money. Um, so let's go back to pausing and uh, <laughs> we'll see it when it's withered. And here we go, it's withering. Uh, let me slow the time down. So it was about 18, maybe give or take an hour, 19 hours, uh, that it went through all three phases. So it seemed about every six hours it went through each one of them green phases. So it started at the light green, then six hours later it turned to the middle green, and then six hours later it turned to the last green. Six hours later it withered. And if you look on the map, notice how the 16's covered red. It's all withered. So what we'd have to do now is we would start with cultivating. Cultivate the whole field and start over. Alright, uh, while I was watching that though, we were rather fortunate and got a great demand. Uh, canola. To find your great demands, you come to your prices and then you tab through your prices with nine and uh, it'll show you great values. Or, I mean your great demands. There it goes. The N wants canola at 1.6 times the normal value. So I'm going to get an extra... 60%. Uh, if you look, the farms in the freight yard are 1037070 The end's paying 1900 So now I wish I kind of held on to that canola that we just sold in the first video because I could make almost twice as much off of it. Well, 0.6% more. 60% 6, more. Uh, anyhow, that's the end of this video. We've uh, covered everything you need to know about you know, your first field, what to do, how to do it, what vehicles to use, what equipment to buy, what equipment to use. Now, one thing I didn't cover is fertilizer. I use the sprayer. That's a personal preference. I, I like it because it's easy. I'll pay the 500 for three fields or so. Uh, some people grow cows, use cows. If you buy cows and then you have them at your thing and you feed them grass, then they'll start producing liquid, liquid fertilizer, liquid manure. Call it what you will. Uh, you can buy a... Um, a slurry tank and you can carry it all the way down there and you can fill it up for free you know if that's your route that's the way you want to go do that um, you can build up to eventually getting the actual manure by growing you know plow or harvesting rather the wheat or the barley fields picking up the straw then you tear carry the straw down there and you give it to them and they'll with grass and they'll produce regular manure and liquid manure 
uh, you use the fertilizer spreaders with the liquid or the regular manure and you can use it on your field. So really it, it's your choice which tree you want to use. I went the easy way, especially for this video. Uh, on my main game I do use all three, but that was just kind of a because you can type thing. Um, for me, ease of access, sprayer's the best way to go. Other people, you know, want the extra work, want to do the other stuff. So, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm going to get off of this one, though, and we'll do another video. First, I'm going to upload these to the site. So um, on the page where I upload them, if you where they're at, right here, if you guys leave some comments of things that you want me to do, things that you want to see, uh, things that you want explained, if I know how to do it, I'll put a video up about it if uh, I don't already intend to. If I don't, then I'll scounge around and figure out how to and put a video up. So uh, let me know what you think.